In this video, we'll talk about blueprints, the shortcuts to automations created by the Home Assistant community. Essentially, a blueprint is a script or automation configuration with certain parts marked as configurable. It allows you to create different scripts and automations based on the same blueprint. There are many enthusiasts in the Home Assistant community which create those blueprints for you and allow you to save hours and hours from creating your own scripts and automations. Today, we're going to look at the top five most viewed Home Assistant blueprints on the exchange. To access the blueprints, please proceed to the community page of the homeassistant.io, click the blueprints exchange, and now we'll just choose the top ones and we sort by the number of views to choose the top five blueprints created by the community. We'll open them all one by one and we will then start adding them into our Home Assistant. Now, the first uh, blueprint is a low battery level detection notification for all battery sensors, which is one of my favorites, to be honest. You can see the explanation here. And now we'll just go ahead and import the blueprint into the Home Assistant. We'll click OK, we'll click Open Link, and this becomes available in our Home Assistant. As you can see, I already have it. Uh, so therefore, I'll just click Cancel and go into the actual blueprint. Now in here, as you can see, you can set up the battery percentage and control at what point will you get the notification. You can change the time of the day when that test runs. Let's put 9 p.m. You can choose weekday, you can exclude entities, sections, etc. And now we'll just click Save. Now, in all honesty, I have it, so I'll just click Leave, switch on to the automations, and find it in my existing list of automations. There we go. In my case, I've used 15%, although it probably should be 10. I set the time for 4 a.m. and made sure that the checks happen on Saturday, because it's a weekend, so better chance of replacing the necessary things. I've not excluded any sensors, just in case, and I'm notifying, in this particular case, the Telegram bot. But as you can see in a minute, I will actually be changing it to my iPhone just to get this native notification from a home assistant. Now you can see what it looks like in real life. Now turning over to the next blueprint, wake up light alarm with sunrise effect. This is pretty exciting because it's actually a proven scientifically thing that helps you wake up in a better condition than if you just wake up to your alarm. It naturally increases the brightness of your light. So we'll open link. We will preview it. We'll import it. There we have it. Now you can see you can choose the entity. You can set the alarm time stop sensor if you have it in your home assistant. You can have a manual alarm time set. Additional entity to check before sunrise is triggered. Sunrise duration, minimum brightness, maximum brightness and minimum color temperature. You can also choose some pre-sunrise actions and post-sunrise actions. Now we click save and now we have the wake up light alarm. Now let's move on to the next one. This time it's send camera snapshot notification on motion. Uh, to be honest, this is something you can set up pretty easily yourself with the automations, but hey, somebody's done it for you. So we'll just import blueprint, open the link, we'll preview. We already have it actually. So all I'm gonna do now is there it is. We'll open it. We'll choose the motion sensor. I use just, uh, for example, the G3 motion sensor. We'll then use the actual feed. We will choose the device to notify. I'll choose my phone in this case. And then we have an option to choose if it's an iOS device because Android is a default for this blueprint. We can choose notification title. We can choose notification message and we choose a delay. Now we can click save. And as soon as it fully saves, you can then run it and get a native notification through your Home Assistant app or inside of your house, depending on when the camera is. You can obviously set up multiple of these automations. So that's another way for say, selecting multiple feeds. On to our next one. This is a very, very complicated one. It really allows you to set so many things around the sensors and lighting and whatnot. Uh, you will have to spend some quality time and figure out what you may need from this blueprint. But the beauty of it, it's, it's almost like a Lego. You can kind of build it the way you need it. We are importing it into our Home Assistant. And there you have it. As you can see, there is a lot going on with this blueprint. You will have to spend some quality time on figuring it out. But hey, somebody's done that work for you. So you don't have to. You're going to save probably a good couple of hours of creating your own automation. Now the next one is a turn on switch. I'll import it. So you can see it's based on motion or illuminance. You can set the motion sensor. You can set the target entity. 
you can add aluminum sensor this is great for the times when you need to go to the toilet at night it's dark in your corridor and you don't want to wake anyone up by clicking the switches so you may have some night lights in the corridor those can be automatically triggered by the motion sensor for you so you don't have to do anything again you can potentially create the same automation yourself but the level of optionality given in this blueprint is just the next level as you have seen blueprints can save you lots of time building automations and scripts by leveraging someone else's creativity we've just looked for the top five most viewed blueprints on the exchange there are many many more available there so please make sure you take up some time and learn what's out there and potentially implement it into your install i hope this video has been useful for you see you in the next one